I'm going to begin, uh, Julius, by asking. I mean, it's quite an odd role this one because she's quite empathetic and compassionate mm. and kind of earns the the um the but I don't know the, the audience feel quite endeared to her. But mm. at the same time, she has got a whole kind of basement of Indian workers st- yeah. sort of striving Indeed. sort of tirelessly to make sure her Indeed. stays a pleasant one. <laughs> it's quite an odd one, isn't it? it because is we odd. do like her, but she's still part of yes. the problem. <laughs> Exactly. Absolutely. And 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 are are we you know staying and filming in uh, a working palace when what the real India is is uh, at you know is far away and very 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 different. Um, but certainly, I mean, I I fully fully aware of that. I did a, a film um, a couple of years prior called Sold, which was about sex trafficking. Um, that was a low budget and shot in Calcutta and and very much more immersed in what is today more of uh, uh, real India. Um, um, but yes, we do we do see that and one does um, appreciate what she is trying to instill in the fairness. It's funny because very often when I talk about the impact that she was trying to have, I want to say equality, but of course that's not true. That is not a truth. It's not equality. You know, you can't be talking about equality and um, and be sleeping upstairs when people are sleeping on floors. Um, so it's, but but that is the truth of their reality. Because this seems to be offering, particularly the kind of Indian population, a slightly different perception of, of the Mount Battens. Because mm. I mm. I gather that they were kind of um, put, uh, sort of painted out as being the kind of uh, the the. Uh, the reason behind the partition in a kind of, yeah. kind of negative way, but this yes. kind of actually shows them to be slightly more sympathetic and also to make it look as though in some parts that they didn't have much choice. Yes, well, I mean, as as we understand it through the film, you know, first of all, um, potentially, uh, even though what was being asked of, of Lord Mountbatten was in, impossible, it was an impossibility, but also not only was it an impossibility, were he the right man to actually do it, but he wasn't the right man to do it. And he potentially was sent out there because he was not the right man to do it and because he, he could be a puppet for the people who had already made a decision about what was going to happen. And, um, and so, um, yes, I think that was one of the reasons behind, uh, a, along with telling a very personal uh, story for Gorinda um, uh, about her own heritage, um, but uh, based on information that she discovered in the process of putting this film together, that that um, that perhaps they weren't um, as um, as much a part of the problem as people have been led to believe. And how did you go about kind of perfecting her demeanour? Because there's that real kind of like upper class. 19 kind of 40s British mm. thing and the voice and yeah. the neck. Yes. <laughs> did, you, I mean, did you have much kind of fo- video footage to a go lot. on and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, video footage and and photographs and books and there's, so, there's you know, you can find anything these days. Yeah. And did you meet the Mountbatten's children or grandchildren at all? Or did you? And I spoke to Pamela yeah. on the phone and I think Grinda and Hugh had lunch with her in the countryside, but um, yeah. I spoke to her for a while. I mean, does that add a sort of added pressure knowing that they're going to watch a kind of portrayal of their own mother on screen? It must be. I mean, and are you quite interested to hear what they think after the project? Is that something you prefer just not to know? Um, I, I think potentially prefer not to know unless it's positive. No, but um, um, but there, there's a certain point where I think as an actor, one you know does the amount of research one does and does one's best to portray that person and then kind of has to let go and and hope that that the portrayal is accurate and and that it is um, uh, uh, accurate enough that it's appreciated. I mean, I, I can't even imagine what that would be like as a daughter of, of uh, a, not just a famous figure, but the daughter of a parent that is being represented, portrayed. Um, how can you not look and go, oh, well, they, they didn't do that. They didn't look like that. That's not what they said. That's not, they, 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 you know. That's what I would do anyway. <laughs> and um, about a year ago, uh, there was talk you were in negotiations to be in official secrets. I was wondering if that's been oh. negotiated. Yeah, yet. I don't know. No, they kind of went away. I oh. was I was excited about that. That's a shame. Yeah. That looked really fun. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Anyway, so my <laughs> other final question um, is, I'm just wondering about this movie because, I mean, it's so incredibly timely, but it feels like it's one of those films you watch and mm. you just think, oh, that's something that happened such a long time mm. ago. But, I mean, has there been an added kind of poignancy to this release? Because it, the, the whole kind of human beings treating other human beings terribly based mm. 
pretty much on their religious beliefs yeah, or anything yes, like that yeah. it's, it's not gone away so I mean it must no. have added quite a, it's, made, it's made this film even more profound I guess well that is a large part of the conversations that we seem to be having during the this press tour is, is about how um, things haven't changed and, and what happens when uh, people do the same things over and over and over again as in you know the politics of fear and division, and um, and and therefore, you know, can we learn from our mistakes, and what is our moral responsibility to things like um, immigrants or refugees? Or yes, it's a, a a big contemporary topic. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!